guys, long time no see. Um, I have had the flu for a few weeks now. Just started to get a little bit ill before my birthday when I filmed my last video. Um, so it's been a while since I uploaded anything. Luckily I had pre-filmed a review of the Grace Keepers, so that's kind of broken up the gulf of <laughs> no videos on my channel a little bit. Um, but I decided I would come back to you feeling a little bit better. I've still got a bit of a sore throat, but definitely on the mend with my March favourites. I know this is a little bit of a wait into April now, but these things that I enjoyed in March still stand, so I'd still like to share them with you. All in all, uh, March has been quite stressful. I mean, I started coming down with the flu around the 20th, so it was pretty much ill and miserable for that last 11 days in March over my birthday. Um, at the beginning of the month I actually had to go to hospital to get my cervix cauterised, which isn't a terribly serious procedure but it's also um, not very pleasant, so that was kind of stressful and um, had me feeling a bit crappy at the beginning of the month, so all in all it's been a bit of a stressful month. <laughs> health-wise, but there have been <laughs> some shining moments in there, so I will share those with you in this video. First things first, let's go for my favourite book of the month. I haven't talked about this yet because I've yet to haul it, I've yet to do my March wrap-up, so you'll see it in those videos, but this was actually a present for my birthday from my lovely friend Nicola over at Robotnik, and it's a poetry collection, and I read it a few days after she gave it to me, and that is When I Grow Up, I Want to Be Mary Beard by Megan Beach, and um, this is the title poem. There are quite a few other poems in here as well. Um, this the, the title one is one of my favourites of course. It is such a wonderful collection, it's so slim, but um, I think that this poet has become one of my new favourite poets. Some of the poems in here are some of my new favourite poems, particularly the title one. There's lots of poetry about strong women in here and equality and social justice and uh, dealing with some really big themes um, but in a really wonderful poetic way. Um, she did remind me a little bit of Kate Tempest. She has that irregular rhyming pattern going through her, her poetry style. I'll probably talk more about it in depth in another video, but I just wanted to say that I absolutely adored it. I'm so, so thankful for Nicola having given this to me. It was such a great birthday present. I'm not really sure what the kind of protocol is on being able to read poems from books in videos. So I'll read you the first few lines of the title poem, um, and if you want to hear more, you can go and pick up the book for yourself. Um, it goes, when I grow up, I want to be Mary Beard, a classy, classic, classicist, intellectually revered, wickedly wonderful and wise, filled to brim with life while explaining the way in which Caligula died on BBC primetime, and I would like, like her to shine, the kind inclined to speak her mind, refined and blinding, yet I am finding it tough to grow up in a world where Twitter is littered with abuse towards women, where intelligent, eminent, eloquent females are met with derision. If you want to hear more, I highly, highly recommend you pick up this this collection. Absolutely fantastic, loved it. I haven't really been watching a lot of new TV shows and films this month. Um, I did catch back up on Once Upon a Time on Netflix, um, which is a show I used to love. I feel like it went downhill a little bit, not gonna lie, went off it for a while. But I got back into it whilst I had the flu. I'm now all completely up to date. I'm not gonna lie, it's not the same TV show I feel like it was in the first and second season when I started watching it, but it is a lot of fun and I am glad I caught back up because I am enjoying it. There's not enough good like fantasy TV shows. I feel like fantasy TV shows is a genre that is woefully underrepresented, so if you do have any recommendations for good fantasy shows, let me know. If it if it will guide your recommendations at all, I'm a massive fan of things like Charmed and Xena Warrior Princess. Any recommendations like that? We'd love them. I did go to see Hail Caesar in the cinema this month though, and I did really enjoy it. I had only seen two Coen Brothers films in the past, one which I really enjoyed and one which I really didn't enjoy, so I was a bit undecided on whether I was a Coen Brothers fan. I'd previously seen Oh Brother Where Art Thou, which is great, such a good film, which is about escaped prisoners and kind of mirrors some of the um, episodes in Homer's Odyssey. Such a good film. The other film I saw was Burn After Reading, which I thought was terrible. I absolutely hated it. Um, Hail Caesar, however, was more of a Oh Brother, Where Art Thou film. I really enjoyed it. It's set in old Hollywood. Feels like kind of like McCarthyism time. What with the kind of jokes about um, screenwriters being communists in American 
um, kind of paranoia about communism in there, which is really funny. It's just really funny. The, the best bit, though, was Channing Tatum's dance and song routine, which was like something out of Singing in the Rain. Um, it was so fantastic. I did mention it was my birthday in March and I thought I'd share with you one of the gifts I got. This was from my parents. Um, I picked out it with my mum and it's a cushion with a badger. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard me say it before, but I am a very proud Hufflepuff. So I decided to get a badger cushion. Yeah. And also the nice thing about this is it's from an Etsy shop. You're supporting independent artists and shops and I really like that about it. It's also fantastic quality. It's no cheap rubbish. I think it was quite a good price for what it is. Um, I can't remember exactly. It was a gift. Um, but I will link the shop we got it from down below because um, they've got loads and loads of gorgeous, gorgeous illustrations for cushion covers on there. But moving away from physical objects, um, the next two things I want to talk about are online things. One is something I've been doing and one is something we've all been doing. And the first one is that I have been making throughout March and now going into April videos for BBC's The Social. Um, the Social is something that BBC Scotland started up, which is a sort of social media platform based project um, about creating content online and getting young people in Scotland to create things for them. I have been one of those creators. I made two videos for them in March and um, I just actually finished my third one for them, which will be up soon. And they are all surrounding the up and coming Scottish parliamentary elections. So I've been kind of making how to guides on um, the ballot system and um, how the Scottish Parliament works because the election in Scotland is very, very soon. It's the 5th of May. So if you live in Scotland, make sure you're registered to vote. You've got until the 18th of April. Very important. But I've been really enjoying making this content for BBC Scotland. It's quite different from the stuff I make on here. It's meant to be quite informative and they're not opinion pieces in the slightest. They're just meant to be really neutral and helpful. So hopefully they have been at the moment the social has mainly been using Facebook, um, but they have uploaded the videos to YouTube, so I'll link them down below in case you're interested in watching them. The second thing I wanted to mention as a favourite in March is the Feminist Orchestra Book Club! So the March was our first official reading month for the book club, and the Feminist Orchestra Book Club being a feminist book club, which I started a couple of months ago. If you if you weren't aware, I'll link my announcement video down below so you can go and watch. But we read our first book in March and that was I Call Myself a Feminist, which was a collection of testimonies from various different women, all explaining why they themselves called themselves a feminist. I enjoyed the book, I did a review of it, but what has been my favourite is you guys and just the group in general. It's been such a nice experience watching something that I wanted to start because I was sick of negativity and just wanted an intelligent, all-encompassing, inclusive space for us to talk about feminism and books. It's been really wonderful reading along with you guys, reading what you thought of the book, watching your book reviews, reading your blog post reviews and um, I'm just so glad people have been enjoying the book club even if the book wasn't your favourite book of the year. It's just been really nice that people are enjoying the discussion, which is what I've been getting from it, that people are actually enjoying themselves. So that's been really nice. Um, I haven't started book two yet, but um, I plan on in the next few days, and that is A Room of One's Own by Virginia Woolf, if you're interested in taking part. It's a very short one and pretty easy to get a hold of because it's been in print for quite a long time. So um, if you weren't able to participate in March, I hope you can participate in April. And I hope you've all been enjoying the book club as much as I have. It's been a really positive experience for me so far. But I've been nattering on for ages. My throat's quite sore. But I hope you enjoyed having me back. Um, I hope Hopefully I'll have another video up shortly after this which will either be my March book haul or my March reading wrap up so look forward to that and until next time guys happy reading I'll see you all again soon bye